Hi there. My name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we are part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text. We tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree or the junk drawer or the kids' room or the garage. You know how we've been doing it. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your week with me in this way. And thank you for the love that you are sharing with your kids and your congregations and your families. You are rocking it, my friend. You are rocking it. So this is for Easter Sunday. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Yeah, we're here. We've made it. And it's already here. And yet it took forever to get here. Both and. So, springboard upon springboard upon springboard. So, I posted a thing on uh, the Dollar Store Children's Sermons Facebook page, a link to an Amazon link to where you could get a box of Wrigley's Double Mint Gum. You could get Juicy Fruit and things like that. But if you've been following this for any time, uh, the Dollar Store Children's Sermons, you know that one of my favorite Easter children's sermon is to do use these packs of gum, and it's using one of the packs of gum, just one of these, and I have a video you can search up that shows how to prepare it. Um, it's you basically undoing the, it here, and I'm not going to go into it, even though as I'm talking, I'm going to go into it, I know. Um, but so you just open up the end like this, and then using a uh, ancient technique of tapping it against your hands. You get them to come out and you can pull them out like that. And then you unwrap all the pieces of gum carefully. And you can use that for whatever. You can chew those later. Um, but then you put it back together like that. And af after you do all of the pieces, you can actually, you either you do all the pieces or you do, you remove all, you can remove all of them and then sometimes they stick, and there you go. You can remove all of them, and then place, you're going to place the empty wrapper in there. You can do all five if you want, or you could do just one, and you fold this back up, and either using a piece of tape, because they never see this back end, or just a piece of, just a dip of Elmer's glue or super glue, and then you can close that in, close that up. And there you go. And it is an empty pack of gum that's still sealed. And you can open it up and you pull out the one thing and it's gone. Um, and again, it's referencing the resurrection as they go and they expect to find something as we expect to find gum in here and it's not there. It is, anyway, so that is, and then you can, but you can go back and get a full, more, uh, a fuller, more in detail yeah anyway you can get it more in detail in another children's sermon if you search this up or that might be just enough for you um so they come in packs of three i didn't think the dollar tree carried these anymore um and yours might not so that's why go to the doll go to the facebook page um actually i'll just link it on the blog as well and in the face and in the youtube show notes so you can um uh, fine, and you can actually they you can order like a pack of forty of them, and then you could give full packs of gum away afterwards after church if you want. So there's that. That's the first one, and then you've got gum that you can chew. All right. So my favorite, and literally until I went to the Dollar Tree today, I thought you couldn't find it. Now they might not be at a Dollar Tree or a Dollar Store near you. It's hit and miss. So. Again, you can find it on that link. And if you order, I'm going to share this video early. And if you see this, uh, this I'm recording this Tuesday uh, before Palm Sunday. If you see this before Palm Sunday, you still have time to order the gum from that link because it looks like it takes about a week. So there might be other, you can might, might, might find something under there, two-day, three-day prime shipping. I'm not sure. So there's that. The other is um, I have, I found these at the Dollar Tree. They're pretty pretty interesting. What They are foam di dice. They're foam dice. And uh, actually, it's fun. It's foam die, and they also put a, a they are completely, uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, they are, com 
they're supposed to be completely blank, but they, of course, printed their information on the back. I think you could take a little piece of sandpaper and roll that off, um, or uh, you could, the other thing is you could mark that with the sign of the cross. You could actually color that in. Let's see how that'll work. Excuse me for a second. Excuse me for that. Um, king size Sharpie marker or queen size Sharpie marker. And so there you are. You can just you can just cover up the writing with a sharpie marker and with a cross. So the idea, what I was thinking about with these when I saw these, is this kind of reminds me of a big stone, kind of like a stone that would be in front of the tomb. And because it's a die, you, you can lose it over to the side there. You can uh, take the take the die. And you can roll it, and you've got that rolling thing. So um, the the stone was rolled away, and what they found is Jesus not being there. They found Jesus not there, and so um, so you can play on that, play with the rolling of the rolling of these, and um, and then other other idea. You've got you've you've made the sign of the cross. You made the cross on one side, and then you can actually. Um, you could do uh, a, like the not sign, don't enter sign, or um, uh, things, any kind of uh, maybe a sticker that like shows empty. And so you're going to say, Let, we're going to see how the, we're going to see what's in the tomb. Uh, it's empty. There's nothing there. No, it's empty. It's nothing there. And then the, so an idea of using that. But they, these reminded me of the stone that was in front of the tomb that got rolled away. So there's that. All right, now the last, oh, no, two other springboards. <laughs> two other springboards. Like I said, they're um, all over the place today. Um, one is if you're using the John text, if you're using the John text, they have um, the second half of the John text is they see a, a gardener. They see a gardener. They see a gardener um, out there working on the, he's watering. He's watering, he's working on the plants, he's doing all kinds of things, he's watering and that, and they assume that he's a gardener. Sir, if you've taken away Jesus, if or if you know where they've taken him away, can you please let us know? And uh, he turns, oh, he doesn't, <laughs> make sure that he doesn't squirt the kids. Um, and uh, he takes off his gloves, no he doesn't, but he speaks. It's a one. <laughs> that's all he has to do to take off his disguise. He isn't really disguised. They just cannot tell who Jesus is. And so taking off the gloves and things like that, then it's Jesus. And Rabboni, teacher, Lord. <laughs> and, and there's um, amazement and joy. So using something to pretend that you're the gardener. That, there's that. So you got that springboard. I like that one. I like the idea of the gardener. Now the other one um, that... I also like, and it's using the same idea of not being able to see Jesus or that Jesus is in uh, in some sort of, they just cannot figure out who who Jesus is. You could use this in the gospel, You could, I mean in the gospel of John, the alternative text, you could use this with Mark when they get there and they're looking and they don't understand what they're seeing, they don't recognize there's an angel, I mean there's all kinds of stuff going on. So the idea with this is uh, you you go into the back and then you come back out and you've got your disguise on. You're like, all right, hi there, how are y'all doing? Yeah, it's great. Um, have you seen uh, have you seen the pastor around? I'm trying to look for them. Um, and uh, I very clearly I use the word them because if I don't know who the pastor is, um, I want to make sure that it they hear them versus he, uh, because well, we've been ordaining women and um. We've been ordaining humans for a very long time, and not just men. So anyway, that's my two cents on that. But um, but you know, I'm looking for your pastor. Have you seen them? I'm uh, I, I don't um, and and then you're like, no, 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 and then you're, I go, hey, everyone, it was me. I know I've been hiding right here in front of you the whole time, and then 
the springboard in there about when with the resurrection and the disciples and the first disciples, the women that come to the tomb, and they see Jesus, but they don't recognize Jesus. And, um, and in Mark, it's such a strange and such a scary experience when, when God is up to something that they run away screaming and they say that tells that they the run away run away terrified i don't even know if they're screaming that's in my head i would be but they run away terrified and they say nothing to no one we know that that's not the end of the story because we're gathered here but can you imagine and i love the human emotion that puts that gets inserted into the resurrection story that it's not only are they uh, mourning at the cross and at the burial but then here, when the stone is rolled away, they uh, the experience that they have. And so using either either the gardening gloves and some type of gardening tools, if you've got uh, if you've got a sand a sandbox kit with a bucket and some a rake and all that, you could use those. You've got um, some type of um, uh, funky glasses for a you know for a disguise. You've got the uh, uh, left intentionally blank. No, it's not intentionally blank. Anyway, you got the stones, you've got the Wrigley's gum, springboard galore. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope your Easter celebration is absolutely amazing. And you, my friends, are absolutely amazing. You are rocking it. Thank you. Thank you for the work that you're doing and the love that you're sharing with your kids and your congregations and your family. All right, peace, and we'll see you next Sunday or next week in the Easter season. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Christ has risen indeed. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Peace. Mm -hmm.